Relatives of the two elderly victims did not want to talk, but they came to court today to see the man accused of heinous crimes against them, including rape and torture. This is a felony charge for which the maximum penalty is life or any term of years to understand the nature of count one. Yes. 52-year-old Michael Sean Hoakland is now charged in the brutal attack of two women in their home in Dearborn Sunday afternoon. And after the judge read the charges that include multiple counts of first-degree criminal sexual conduct and torture, prosecutors asked that Hoakland be held without bond. Mr. Holcomb is a danger to the community. He's preying on our most vulnerable victims. And I just don't see any society that would be safe with him in their community. And more charges could be around the corner for Holcomb because just two hours before he allegedly beat and raped the two senior citizens in Dearborn, he was accused of sexually assaulting a teenage girl in Allen Park who was visiting one of his relatives. Holcomb was arrested at a motel after his alleged monstrous attack on the two sisters, ages 78 and 85. Our victims were brutally beaten. Our victims were brutally assaulted. Our victims were brutally raped and our victims were brutally tortured. One of them was not even mobile. Both elderly victims remain hospitalized at this moment and both are thankfully in stable condition. And Michael Sean Holcomb is no stranger to crime. He served eight years in prison after pleading guilty in Wayne County in 2010 to second degree criminal sexual conduct. It was a case out of Dearborn Heights and it's what landed Holcomb in Michigan Sex Offender Registry where he lists his address at this house in Ecorse. But if convicted in this new case, he may spend the rest of his life behind bars. The level of brutality in this case is really unimaginable. This is a terrible crime. In my 26 years, this is one of the most heinous things that I've seen and witnessed. Um, and again, I, I continue to pray for the victims and their families. In Dearborn, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.